is ABC 7 News at 6.30. Bay Area researchers are testing a new treatment that could be a groundbreaking development in the fight against cancer. It is a tumor vaccine, and it's designed to protect patients from the type of brain tumor that took the life of Senator Ted Kennedy. Right here, on the side of my head. Joyce Wheatley will never forget the day she got her diagnosis. The doctor in Modesto came into my room and said, you have what Ted Kennedy has. I said, that's supposed to make me feel better because he's dying. Joyce was rushed to UCSF Medical Center where surgeons removed a deadly tumor from her brain. But she was scarcely out of the woods since her type of tumor, known as glioblastoma, is notorious for reappearing. So during the procedure, doctors took an unusual step to try to prevent that. So we take the patient's tumor out and we make a heat shock protein vaccine. And that vaccine then can prevent the tumor from coming back theoretically. Dr. Andrew Parsa is testing that theory with a groundbreaking clinical trial at UCSF. Working with a biotech company which provided these images, his team used a piece of Joyce's tumor to create a vaccine engineered to target her specific cancer. The vaccine actually provokes a tumor-specific immune response that is patient-specific. Uh, T-cells, which are kind of the, the killer component of the immune system, track down the cancer and try to kill it and prevent it from coming back. Now, the vaccine concept isn't new, but until now, it's been used as a treatment of last resort, reserved for patients whose brain tumors showed evidence of recurring. But that strategy is changing in large part because of the efforts of brain tumor advocacy groups. Together, they've raised private money to study a more aggressive approach. I'm just going to inject it. It's going to be a little needle stick, okay? So this month at UCSF, Joyce became the first patient in the country to receive the vaccine at the beginning of her treatment regimen, a quick injection that will be followed up with others in the weeks to come. Piece of cake. You feel okay? Mm -hmm. You just made history. Yeah. The idea is to give the tumor vaccine early while the cancer is being weakened by chemotherapy and radiation. The hope is patients will then be able to manage the disease using their own immune systems. The best outcome be uh, that Joyce, um, that we convert this deadly cancer into a chronic disease like diabetes or hypertension, something that a medication can take care of. That's our goal. While not a cure, regular vaccine booster shots are a regimen Joyce would be happy to live with. And I just, I just want to be here. I got lots to do. Nothing in particular, but a lot to do. I want to see my grandchildren have children. Some other welcome news here. UCSF has received funding from the National Cancer Institute to help complete the phase two trials of this tumor vaccine. A consumer watchdog group is...